Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the previous episode, if it was any indication of how this Let's Play is going to turn out, I just want to say that I'm really happy right now. We completed two of the missions that I consider to be the most different. Well, okay, one of them the most difficult, and one of them the most annoying. So the first one that we tackled is the one that, it's called like a uh, sticky situation or some bullshit like that. But you know, it's basically the Hungry Luma next to, to the fountain. That one, uh, as I said in the previous episode, has taken me up to six attempts to get right. And holy shit, this would take a while. I kid you not, like there was like one, uh, one part where I died easily like four times because the angle, you know, didn't really look too well. You know, basically, I was kind of deceived. <laughs> uh, but other than that, the other mission, which was here at Battle Rock, I think if you guys have played this game, you can relate really well. The reason for that is because you have it to be extremely, I do mean extremely cautious when it comes to those, uh, uh, you know, to those bombs, uh, you know, when you have to place them on the, um, you know, like next to the little, like, uh, coin measuring whatever shit. I'm not really sure how to call him, but basically, um, it was like a, a really, really nice episode for me. I really, really like the outcome of it, and right now, I am just trying to get the... Okay, so you need to bump that thing into the electricity, and then it's going to uh, release the Luma. Alright, let's see. Thank you. Oh, sweet freedom. I will show you a shortcut as your reward, and transform. Yep, we're going to be the Good Samaritan, and we're going to help Luma right here. So, we're going to launch into yet another part of Battle Rock, and this is going to be, I believe, this uh, actually gives us, like, something cool. I don't remember. But, other than that, if there are, like, one-ups or something like that in these crates, I really don't care. I mean, it's really, really, like, nothing to, like, anything to worry about. Alright. So, this right here can also be kind of annoying. Uh, like, okay, so, for example, this part is not really, like, um, difficult whatsoever. So... I believe that you can even, uh, okay, so let me, let me just try something, like, really quick. Uh, oh, shit, 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 um, can I, can I do this? No, I can't, okay, I didn't actually try that on my practice file, I just wanted to see if it worked. <laughs> Alright, let me see, so we're gonna be able to do this right here. Now, the lava, I don't think it's, um, it's an instant kill, but I, I'm just really not gonna take my risk. Um, you know, I think it only launches you, like, high up in the air, you know, just uh, has you burning your butt, and, uh, you know, this is obviously something that you do not want. Now, if you reach this point, uh, you want to be careful not to stand on these platforms, otherwise you're gonna go back to, um, well, obviously the, you know, this part right here, which, well, it's gonna take more time, and if you are like me, if you don't have a lot of patience, you obviously do not want to do that. All right, so let's see. I believe I can stand on the Goomba right here, and I can... Oh, close. All right, so I'm just going to do this right here, do this really fast, and we are on to the next part. Now, this one is where... Well, this is not, like, really... Uh, I don't want to say difficult, but, yeah, like, uh, this is not uh, too dangerous. Like, for example, the, the ones that have red are ones who are going to be able to squish you if you are not quick enough. So you really, really want to be careful with that. So now that we are here, we are going to get into these things, which uh, is actually really, really easy to avoid. Just stand on uh, this thing right over here. That block, I don't really know what it contains, but I don't really think it's like anything too like important, to be honest. So just take this little like uh, what is it, like an anti-elevator? I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right. So after this, we wanted to get these little spin toppers. I'm not really sure how these things are called in English. Is it like um? Spinner, or yeah, I'm not really sure, but yeah, you you just want to put them in the um, like in the electricity, and everything is gonna be fine. So after this, you're gonna be transported to the boss area. I mean, I was gonna call it a boss room, but this is not really much of a room, is it? Um, a fun thing, or maybe not fun thing. I, okay, no, never mind. I don't think it is over here. Okay, no, never mind. It is. So this is a new thing. Every now and then, before a boss battle, you're gonna be able to talk to this dude. Luma Lee, Luma Boob, welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you something helpful for 30 star bits. If you can buy, if you have 30 star bits to spare, you can buy either a 1-up or a life-increasing mushroom, which is obviously the one thing that you want because, you know, it is kind of difficult to die in, you know, especially missions like this. Alright, now fill me up with extra change. 
So after 30 star bits, which you should definitely have at this point. Oh, so full. Now I'm feeling great. So here we go. Transform. The thing itself is going to transform into the mushroom. Meaning that if you lose a mushroom, uh, he dies in vain. So you really don't want to do that. You want to honor his death. <laughs> so we're going to be presented with this little, uh, you know, boss over here. Uh, really easy, just uh, stand on his head, he's going to be, like, really mad. Uh, do that again, uh, and do, you know, you... Okay, so these little ones are going to be kind of annoying, but eventually, it is going to be, like, a nod to, like, difficult whatsoever. So do it one more time, and that's the boss, ladies and gentlemen. They're really, really nice. Alright, so this is home of the Daredevil Prankster Comet, which I believe I'm gonna have time to cover um, on this episode. Maybe, now, this is uh, where I had a couple of deaths as well, so maybe we're gonna have our first death in this mission right here, especially because of the ending phase, where he has those uh, two extra, um, you know, spinners, which you have to watch out for. You obviously cannot touch the dude itself. Uh, because, you know, it obviously has, like, little spikes on, you know, on the side. Uh, do we have access to the Prankster Comet? No, we don't. So we can't really do anything right now, uh, so I'm going to open this galaxy right here. Let me see, six minutes. Okay, we're doing really good. Hurry, scurry, galaxy. This one is also kind of nerve-wracking, and I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, we got to it, and, like, the, the first part isn't really difficult, but it gets kind of, you know, annoying as we get to this area right here. I believe we land on... Yeah, there we go. We land in, like, another place. So, these things, I believe they're new. Um, basically, if you have... I think these also appeared in Super Mario 3D Land, but obviously, this game came before 3D Land. So, if you step on them, they are eventually going to disappear, which, uh, you know, it's obviously going to be kind of, uh, you know, bad if you are not really careful with this. So, yeah, you really want to be careful. So, uh, you want to spam this block right here. You're going to finish it before... Um, before the, you know, little green thing actually expires. And you're gonna start collecting these notes. You really, really wanna be careful because you have a black hole right under you. So you wanna, so you wanna watch out, like, really, really, good, you know, just, just really well. Now let me see. I don't think there is a set, uh, route for this, but, like, let me see. I believe I'm almost done with this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Like, it's not really difficult. There, there... Okay, let's, let's set this straight. There... Right here in this mission, there is enough room for screw up, so it's really not too bad. And I believe that there is no way to die after you uh, get the star itself. So, I mean, there's really nothing to worry about after you collect all of the notes. I don't think there is a way that you can pass through the thing, so, like, you don't catch the star. I believe that um, when you fall, it is going to uh, direct you to, you know, to, to the star right away. Alright, uh, updated, whatever. I'm gonna save progress. Uh, are we gonna have the prankster comment? Yes, we do. All right. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Fucking voice crack right in the middle of recording. I really hate that. All right, Daredevil comment. This is where I could potentially have my first or first couple of deaths of the you know the series, uh, and you know especially because of the last uh, the last uh, part. Uh, you know, like I said before, where he has, like, multiple spinners, uh, you really want to watch out for that. So, let me see. Uh, Top Maniac's Daredevil Run. Let's do this, boys. Yes. So, as you can see, we only have one hit point. One, and that's it. Alright, I believe I'm gonna die right- Oh! <laughs> oh, my fucking god, that was so close. Alright, so I'm going to be, uh, watching out for this right here. Alright. So, getting here itself wasn't really too difficult. Let's see how I, uh, uh damn it. <laughs> of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to fail. Okay, let's see how I do. I really don't want to have my first death here, so... Uh, I do really want to um, do this, like, you know, as fast as I did it, you know, in the previous ones. So, oh, shit! There we go, nice, 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 Oh, come on, come on, come on. If it starts blinking, you want to, you know, just, just get out right away. Otherwise... Oh, fuck! Okay, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> first death of the adventure, that's fine. Oh, man, I am so... So butthurt whenever I die in one of these missions. <laughs> I mean, at first glance, it seems like so easy, dude. But, you know, eventually, it may be if you're kind of... Well, okay, I'm not bad at these missions. It's just that, you know, the, the pressure of me, like, having a, like, a deathless run, it, you know, was just, like, uh, kind of getting on my nerves. So, uh, there we go. First death of the adventure. It wasn't really too bad. That's whatever. Uh, so let me see. Hopefully I can get it right now. It would be kind of embarrassing if I got to two deaths over here. 
and it was because of the little spinner so that's you know exactly what i actually you know meant that you really want to be careful with the ones that he uh throws later on come on there we go i think i got it nice nice okay 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 so only one death um i'm uh, i'm really okay with that i mean we're, we're gonna have more death especially in missions like this we're gonna have more death so um you know just just i am not going to like fucking like unlike uh, okay so what i've said before unlike super peach 3d world the, some of these missions are actually challenging like mario 3d world is not a difficult game whatsoever but this one it has its moments where you say what the fuck was that save your game no i don't want to save my game I believe we are 100% done with everything. Let's see. Prankster Comet, Prankster Comet, Galaxy, Galaxy. So, we have enough time to go to the boss and clear two missions. Really nice. Bowser Star Reactor. Let's do this. As you can see, the Fiery Stronghold. Is this where we're going to fight Bowser? Find out right now. Of course, trying to make things more dramatic, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There are two spots in this galaxy where I presume you would have like a little uh, bit of trouble. And I'm going to show, uh, you know, uh, which ones I'm talking about. So, first part right here, not really difficult. If you're having trouble, uh, you know, if you are dying a lot, don't really worry about it. Because there is a one of, one of mushroom right there, which you should grab without any problem whatsoever. Think to note, this is very important. If you get hit, if you get stomp, uh, squashed by the thwomps, it is instant death. Even if you have, uh, you know, your three, you know, your three hits, be really, really careful with that. You also have to be careful with this. You know, we get into the anti gravity. I'm just gonna jump right here. Uh, okay, shit. I, I think I'm. Okay, I'm not fucked. And okay, nice. So I'm gonna jump right here. Platform is gonna get me. Uh, how? Does the platform not, um, you know, ab how does the black hole not absorb the platform? Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> Maybe we can ask like Stephen Hopkins, uh, uh, Stephen Hawkins, you know, some, some like a uh, really really good uh, physicist. Uh, is it physicist or a phys physician? Uh, yeah, person who studies uh, physics. I don't really know anything about uh, about black holes, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let me see. Am I gonna be able to get through this without this lump squashing me? Yes, I am. Uh, uh shit, 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 shit. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, that, uh, that wasn't really too bad. Now I believe there is a life-enhancing mushroom somewhere around here. But before that, we have a nice cutscene. Check it out. It's Mr. Bowser himself. Haha. <laughs> Throwing fireballs at us like that is going to stop us. <laughs> Alright, so this is the mushroom that I'm talking about, so we get that even though the boss that we're gonna tackle, uh, that we're gonna be tackling right now isn't really too difficult. So let's see, Bowser himself isn't really like, uh, you know, uh, I, I think I'm overusing the word difficult here, but that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. And behold, Bowser has power over gravity. How great. <laughs> Alright. So, really, really easy strategy for this. Uh, every time he does like that little thing, uh, you want to watch out. So, for example, I'm going to stand right here. And you want him to slam these, um, like... What are they, like... Uh, panels uh, like okay these blue things right so you want him to like smash these things so he's going to be uh burning his ass and uh, i think you need to do this like obviously you know three times fireballs right here on the you know on this uh, second phase is really not going to be too difficult and how does he not break the panels uh when he does uh when he does those jumps but he does when doing this don't ask me <laughs> All right, so we do this right here. Now he's going to be turning around and gonna go this way right here. Nice. Now we only need to do this one more time, I presume, and that's gonna be it for the boss battle itself. Now the fireballs right here are gonna be a lot faster. So as you can see, one of them hit me. It's really not too bad. 
Now, I want him to stand right here, because if he's standing there, I don't think... Oh, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Mm, oh, shit, that was very close. Okay, right here, right here. Nice! Okay, good. Now you want to intercept him... Uh, okay, so his uh, path is actually going to be a lot more... Um, oh, shit, okay, yeah, he... I'm not gonna get him this time. His path is actually gonna be more... Uh, okay, there we go, I got him. It's gonna be more unpredictable. You need to do one... And, oh shit, go, 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 come on, come on, let me hit you, let me hit you, nice, okay, there we go. I think that's it, I don't, I believe there's not another face, yeah, yeah, okay, there's not another face. But yeah, that was, that was the boss. What? How? Foolish Mario, my plan is too far along now. Do you really think you can stop me? ha 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 